Hi everyone, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here and we're going to be having a look at an awesome video creation tool that's online called Pictory AI. A lot of people have been asking me how to turn articles into videos or uh, asking for a good online video editor. So this is one I've been using for a few months and I really like the results I've been getting. I've used my plugin called TubeBuddy to see that a lot of people are searching for Pictory full tutorial and that there's not a whole lot of content. So that's why I'm creating this video. You can see that that keyword there has a high search volume and low competition. So I'm going to fill the gap by making this video for you. So I'm going to show you how to take an article anywhere. It can be from your own blog or someone else's website and turn that into a video that you can use on YouTube and you can even make YouTube Shorts or TikTok videos if you want to see how to do that using Pictory AI. Stick around and I'll show you right now. Now I tend to use either the script to video or the article to video. If you're using the article to video, you just need to find a blog post, maybe from your own blog or from someone else's blog. So here's just, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, it can be about anything. So if this is, this is a blog post about the best uh, microphones for podcasting. So you would just take that URL and copy that. And then you would paste that into the art, article to video and it would generate a video for you from there. But what I'm going to do is use the script to video because I've used a uh, chat GPT to and I've told it to write me a short blog post about the five best microphones for podcasting. So now I've got this short blog post here and I'm going to use the script to video. So I'm going to proceed here in uh, enter the uh, name of my video. So I'm going to call it I'm going to type in all my text here and then I'm going to proceed and it's going to ask me to select a template. Let's just pick some sort of standard looking one here and I'm going to use the normal ratio 16.9, which is just a normal YouTube video. So you'll see here it's taken the script that I popped in and it's made a series of different uh, scenes and it's automatically found video and it's inserted all these different videos based on the text uh, that I've put in. It's telling me that the estimated video duration is three minutes and 21 seconds. So what I will usually do is go through all of these now uh, and make sure that there are no really weird because it's automatically just added them in. Sometimes it can add in some really weird videos. So I just want to make sure. See, this one's got nothing to do with the microphones. This is just someone looking at some jewelry. Um, so what I can do is go to where it says visuals right here. I can pick something different or I can type in microphone. So I'm going to type in microphone. That's something that's more related to what we're doing. And I'm going to go back to the story now. And I'll, I'll then go through all of these. See, this is just a generic one that, that doesn't uh, go very well. So I'm going to go back and pick another microphone one there. So what we're going to do next is add some music. So let's go down to the tab that says audio. Let's have a listen to the one that they have automatically applied. So we got some sort of indie rock sounding thing. This is all royalty free music and you won't get copyright striked on YouTube for using any of this. So under audio settings, I like to use the background uh, music volume, usually down at 10 or 15% because um, I'm going to be using either doing a voiceover myself, which is what I usually do. Um, but you can even get Pictory to do a voiceover for you. So we've got background music here and voiceover. So you can pick any one of these voiceover. These are like electronic voiceover artists, uh, AI voiceover. So let's have a listen. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that. Okay. I'm just going to choose this one here and apply. And I'm going to do speed uh, as normal. So let's now basically we've got 
the script, we've got the visuals, we've got music, and we've got a voiceover. Let's now generate a preview for our video to see what it is going to look like. This can usually take uh, a minute or two, depending on the length of your video. So I currently don't have a paid subscription to Picktree because I'm just waiting on the team to send me through my one year for free since I have actually referred 50 customers to Picktree. So I'm part of the Picktree affiliate program. So I've referred uh, about 60 customers and they're going to give me a year for free. So uh, I'm just hanging out for them to send me that. But uh, when I uh, have the full subscription, like when I was doing the paid one, it will have no watermark and uh, it'll have no watermarks on it at all. But this is sort of roughly what you're going to get uh, as an outcome. And you can happily upload this to YouTube with no problems. I tend to do my own voiceovers to just make it a little bit more personal. And I think YouTube prefers a real person doing a voiceover. Podcasting. But let's have a look at uh, the first, you know, 30 seconds or a minute of what it's come up with. Podcasting has become a popular medium for sharing information, entertainment, and personal perspectives with a global audience. One of the key components of a successful podcast is the quality of the audio. A good microphone can help to ensure that your voice is clear and crisp, making your podcast more engaging and professional. Here are five of the best microphones for podcasting. 1. Shure SM7B. The Shure SM7B is a dynamic microphone that is known for its versatility and reliability. So that's basically the outcome you're going to get. And it's a really professional, very quick way to uh, create videos. That's why I love Pictory so much. Whenever I do this on my YouTube channel, I always pop my own voiceover on there. Um, and one other cool thing just before I finish is I just noticed it's got a guitar there. So that visual doesn't really match up. So if they don't have any video, of this you could just go searching uh google images then we can actually go back into pictory and under the visuals for this one right here i can just go to my uploads and i can upload that picture um, and it will actually just turn the picture into a moving image so sort of basically like video so i'll select that and it should automatically do, oh no, so visuals. So right here under settings, I just want to make sure visuals, zoom and pan is on for this particular one. And then if we preview this, just this one little pane. Two, Heil PR40, the Heil PR. So you can see it just uses that, whatever that, the Ken's burn effect or something and make it look like it's video, but it's just a still image. So when you're finished, you're just going to go to generate and video, and then you can download your video and then it's ready to basically upload to YouTube or Twitter or wherever, you know, Facebook, wherever you want to upload that to. So that is how you use Pictory. That is a full tutorial. I love Pictory AI and that's why I have been recommending it on my YouTube channel and on TikTok. And if you are into affiliate marketing, so if you want to earn some money online and get some passive income, you can do what I have been doing and you can join the, uh, um, the Pictory affiliate program. I've been recommending people via my YouTube channel and via short reels content uh, like short videos on YouTube and also on some TikTok and on I've been referring customers to Pictory from my Pinterest as well. So you can see that over the past uh, two months I've got about two and a half thousand clicks and then 677 of those people have signed up and the 61 paying customers. So now that I've passed the 50 paying customers, I'm going to receive a free Pictory account for one year premium, which is going to be great. And then you can see I've also earned almost $1,000 and that's in US. So that's some really good passive income. If you want to join the Pictory affiliate partner program, I've got a separate link and you can sign up and start promoting Pictory uh, to anyone in your network if you're on social media or if you're making your own videos. So that is how you use Pictory, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this content valuable. Make sure you do like this video and subscribe for more content. Thank you and we'll see you next time.